All right, time to learn a little bit about Canvas in MDN. I want to show you real quick. Whoa, this one. I want to show you real quick what you can do. For example, look at this beautiful house. This is how you can build a house on Canvas. All right. Basically, Canvas is just a um, HTML element, but the difference is that it has something called a context. A context is the way that we can access the pixels inside of this element. So the pixels inside of here in theory. Okay. So we can create a context and it will be very, it's very simple. All you have to do is you create a context variable here and it says canvas get context 2D. There are more contexts than only 2D, I think. 3D makes sense, right? And then now that you have the context, everything that you will do, you will just do with the context. So in this case, in the context, you say the line is whatever. In this case, you will make a rectangle. In this case, you will fill a rectangle. Then you will move the context somewhere else. You will make a line somewhere else, blah, 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 blah. blah. We're going to do all this right but in our paint js we're going to work with the context of the canvas you need to understand that the canvas is just an element on html and with the context we manipulate the pixels inside of that element okay that's why we make it that big so let's get the context real quick and here what we're going to do is you say const context equals canvas get context nope what is it yeah, get context. And that will be 2D. All right, no problem. Now by default, I'm going to set some um, default things of the context. So for example, the context has a fill color, as you can see here. Nope, you cannot see it here. Let me show you. Styles. It has line width stroke style, fill style and stroke style. All right, so this is the one we want stroke style, color or style to use for the lines, or color or style to use inside the shapes. I think it's stroke style. So let's gonna let's do stroke style, stroke style. And in this case, we're going to pretend that our person that is going to use this is going to start on this color, the first one, All right? Cool. Now just to fuck around, let's just do something weird. Okay. Let's do uh, 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 what else? The line width. Yes, the line width here. What is the line width? The line width is supposed to be this thing, right? We're going to make it bigger or we're going to make it smaller. That is the line width of the context. Okay. Remember context is how we manipulate the pixels inside something inside the canvas line width should be 2.5 in theory okay and i think that's all we need i think yep all right i'm gonna make a function here called start painting and this will do painting equals true all right and i i don't think that this is smart on mouse up i just want to stop painting that's all i want to do so i want to do stop painting the reason why is because we don't have to put the logic of the lines here the, the logic of the line should go into on my mouse down you will see why later so on mouse down we're going to do start painting okay on mouse up, we're going to do stop painting. On mouse leave, we're going to do stop painting. The one we care about is on mouse move. That's the one we care about, this one, all right? Why do we care about on mouse move? The reason why is because here is where we're going to be detecting all the movements and we're going to be making lines, all right? So context has a lot of stuff. In this case, it has uh paths a path is just basically a line okay and we can begin a path right then we can move the path for example right and also we can maybe uh fill the path we can close the path we can do all that stuff it's just lines okay that's a path just lines lines 
okay? So what we wanna do here is to start a path. And what that means is that basically we want to start a point. We want to start a line, basically. We want to start a line, all right? But we don't wanna do this when we are painting. I only want to do this when I'm not painting. This means when I'm just, when I'm floating around without clicking, right? That means that when I'm floating around without clicking, I'm gonna be creating paths, right? And I'm gonna wait until I actually click to make a line from starting point to finish, okay? So in your brain, the way I understand this and the way you could think about it is that creating a path is basically creating the starting line, the starting point of a line. So we're gonna create the starting point of a line, okay? And we're going to be moving that starting point everywhere the mouse goes. But then when we click, we are just going to make a line from the starting point to where we're clicking, all right? So in this case, we're not gonna see anything, anything on the screen, but still, it'll be fun. So what I'm gonna say is if I'm not painting, if I am not painting, I am gonna say context, whoa, context. I'm gonna create, what is the name? Create path, begin path, begin. All right, and I am going to move this to X and Y coordinates. So I'm gonna do move to X and Y, which are the ones that are coming here, all right? So now what's gonna happen is that if I refresh here, I'm gonna move and what we're going to be doing is we are going to be creating paths and we're going to be moving them to where our mouse is going. This is because when I click, we're going to select the clicking position as the one that is going to be the, the ending point of that path, all right? So we are painting, only we're painting, all right? We're not painting here, here. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Now when I click and I move, this condition doesn't work anymore. When I click and I move, this doesn't work, right? But what I will do will be that I will do context, and let's look at context and what we can do. Look at what I'm gonna do. Look at what I'm gonna do. It's all there. I'm gonna do line two. Let's read that line two for a second. Connects, connects the last point in the current subpath to the specified X and Y coordinates with a straight line. That sounds what I wanna do. So it connects the last point of the path. So first we create the path, right? And then when I call line two, it's going to connect this point to this. So it creates a line. That sounds, what I, that, that sounds like something that I want. With a straight line. Perfect, that's what I want. So let's do line two. Where are we gonna go? X and Y. Awesome. And then I think we can do nothing here. I think it doesn't work. Let's refresh. And there is a line on the context. There is a line, but I'm not doing anything. As far as you know, I'm not doing anything. That will be on the next video. Oh no, let's do it on this video. So right now we're creating the path, but it's not working because the path is invisible. Let's stroke it. Ah, let's look at this one. Uh, canvas rendering context fill fills the current subpaths with the current fill style or strokes the current subpaths with the current stroke style. I think what we want is a stroke. So let's do context dot stroke. Nope, stroke. And this will be stroke style here. Whoop, that color is wrong. Perfect. And I'm nervous. Let's go. Refresh. And now I click and I do this and it doesn't work. Why? No. <laughs> Begin path, move to, line two, and stroke. Yes, mouse move, on mouse move. Mouse down, start painting. Start painting, painting equals true. Stop painting. Okay. 
It doesn't work. Don't know why. See you in the next one. Bye bye.